Hello everyone, welcome to Inside Japan. For this week's video we'll be looking at what to expect from the car inspection system administered by the government's Land and Transportation Office. This test is called Jidosha Kensa Torokuseido, which most people just call Shaken for short. Unlike in many other countries where vehicle taxes go down as the value of the car goes down, the Japanese system requires more taxes and inspection for the older vehicles. The stated reason is for the safety of the road, but getting tax revenue and pushing people to buy new cars may also be major factors. So how much does a Shaken cost? There's not one simple answer, as one of the variables is based on the size of the car. But most people expect to pay at least a thousand dollars. Let's take a closer look at where that money goes. The car inspection itself includes a fee for handling the paperwork for about five dollars, as well as the fee for the inspection, which is about $17. The largest chunk is for a compulsory insurance, which is about $250. And last is a weight tax, which can range from $50 to $800. So cars with a yellow plate will have to pay around $300 total, while a luxury sedan might be close to $1,000. If you take your car to a dealer, they'll check the car and make recommendations on possible repairs, the expense of any repairs would be on top of the inspection fees we've already discussed. Once the car is fixed up, you can pay them between $1 and $200 to take the car to one of the government testing facilities. If your vehicle is a Japanese car, there are smaller facilities that will charge a bit less and perform the test at their facility, speeding up the process a bit. Relatively few drivers do any real maintenance aside from switching between summer and winter tires letting service dealers charge higher prices. If you are mechanically minded and your Japanese skills are up to the task, you can take the car through the testing yourself and just pay the actual inspection fees. You should expect to spend about three hours at the testing center. So how often is this inspection? New cars get a three-year free pass. Once the exemption period is done, cars have to be inspected once every two years. They recommend that cars over 10 years old get a yearly check, but this is just a voluntary guideline. So what exactly does the inspection involve? There's a 60 point checklist linked below you can use to double check the car's condition. They begin by checking for illegal exterior modifications such as any parts extending wider than the body of the car. Next they'll make sure that the turn indicators and windshield wipers work. Pulling into the test center, the speedometer and brakes will be tested when you drive on the dynamo meter. After that, the color temperature and alignment of the headlights is checked. And finally, the emissions, wheel alignment and undercarriage are checked as well. Most cars should be able to pass fairly easily, assuming that you can meet these bare minimums and your undercarriage isn't covered in rust. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to like and subscribe. If this video does well, I might be willing to walk through the paperwork and testing process in even greater detail. And as always, thanks for watching. This has been Inside Japan.